So this is a micro house. It's 250 square feet, the footprint of two car spaces. This could be the future of housing in Kuala Lumpur. Four thousand people work in downtown Kuala Lumpur, but less than five thousand people actually live there, which explains the traffic. The local people only come here to work, but then after work, you know, they they just want to get out of the city and you know go back to where they live, you know, in the suburb. So that's not good for the economy of the city. The government's Kuala Lumpur structure plan 2020 confirms this, stating there's not enough housing for the middle income group who make up most of the city's workforce. These are the people essential for business and commerce to function. The problem with today's uh, real estate value is that uh, a lot of young graduate, when they start working, they can't afford to live in the city. Residents of KL City Centre spend 48% of their monthly income on rent, while those in nearby Damansara spend just 17%. The idea was to try to reverse that, to try to bring some of these young people back into the inner city. And in order to do that, we have to make housing affordable for them. So making it small is one way of making housing in the inner city affordable. Architecture firm Teta Huawei Atelier has spent just three weeks and a hundred thousand ringgit constructing this micro house that will be on display at the World Urban Forum. Okay, today is Saturday and uh, we are, have another two days before the delivery to the site. So what they are doing today is, is actually, you can see they are actually putting up the roof. The size of the house is 5 meters by 5 meters. In fact, we are actually using uh, two two plots of car parks. Now the reason why we are using this dimension is because of with the hope that in the future cars will become uh, not, not really a necessity because of the Ubers and great cars. So we might get the plenty of uh, car parks in Kuala Lumpur. So when we put a lot of micro houses together, it will become like a village. And it's not just car parks that could be repurposed. If you come into the inner city, some of the high rises or even some of the shop lots, they are all actually dark. There's no people living above the ground floor. So the idea is to try to encourage property owners as well as government agencies to start thinking about using those space a bit more efficiently by bringing in some of this idea of micro-housing. Since 1984, residential land in downtown KL has shrunk by almost 75%. Reclaiming commercial buildings would help to reverse this trend. We cannot stop urbanization, but we can make it sustainable and not allow cities to just have a natural death and then you build new cities. I think a solution like micro housing, um, you know, it's very interesting. I think it's a good idea. You know, I'm not sure how it will. Uh, how receptive people will be to it, but this is, I think, the whole uh, process. To gauge public opinion, the finished prototype is being transported to Medan Pasar, where it will be part of the World Urban Forum's Urban Village. This is a, such a small uh, 250 square feet, so you always feel like it is very claustrophobic. So the, the tall ceiling actually makes you feel big, although you are in a very tight space, but you feel the height. This is a kind of small but standard uh, kitchen. Uh, you have a sink and a stove. After this wall, there's a bathroom and there's a staircase coming up to the first floor. Because we are dealing with a very tight space and we do not have much space for a staircase and a storage area. So we decided to put these two things together. Okay, now we are at the first floor. This is a bit place without the mattress. So there's a little uh, study area here. You can put a small chair. You can actually close these uh, folding doors. We are talking about a bigger urban life. It's not a single house, but a bigger urban life that we, we can actually encourage people to stay to actually participate. The idea of residence is actually for young uh, uh, bachelors uh, who want to stay in the city, to contribute to the city, to interact with other people, to make this a city a more livable place. A 
when Uber came into the market, everybody was up against it. Today, it become part of our lives. I think micro housing is it will go through that kind of process too. So I guess this is only the start, probably an evolution of how we look at housing in in cities like Kuala Lumpur or Jakarta or Bangkok or Manila. I think Kuala Lumpur is a very interesting city. I think it's a city that we have forgotten. A lot of us don't come into the inner city anymore. We are trying to pull people back into the city. And that happens, and if there's a living population in the city, the city will be a, a fantastic, livable, exciting city.